Hi there everyone, I just wanted to go over a quick little demo here of how to use ExtendScript Developer Utility. You would find this under the window panel here if you put this script in the script UI panels folder. So we we'll go ahead and launch this here. And the first thing you'll want to deal with here is this nice little entry box to allow you to learn available properties and methods. So if we went ahead and typed in one particular object in After Effects, which is app, we can say show available code options, and this will show us all of our properties for app and all of our methods that are available for app. Now a quick little thing you can do is you can highlight and select one uh, particular property or method, and if you hit this little up arrow, it'll automatically append it to the text that's up here. Uh, it'll add the little period in there as well. Uh, if you have a piece of code here that you do like uh, once you've kind of assembled it, you can easily hit this cross arrow over here and throw it over into the scripting area. Now, uh, as you append stuff up here, you can continue to grab the next set of available options for the next object that's in there. So we can say app.project and we can say uh, num items and we can append that. And being that we don't want this now, we can just select that and delete it and hit this arrow and put that into our script area. And if we keep that highlighted, I also have hotkeys over here, little macros, that uh, if you hit alert, will automatically insert the text inside the parentheses if you have it selected. If I didn't have anything selected, it would just automatically insert it where the cursor is sitting in this uh, script area. So if I delete that, we have a piece of code here. So anything inside this little script area here, we can hit the run button and it'll run that piece of code. And in this case, it's zero since we have absolutely nothing in our project. Um, this will clear this script area. Now there are no undos in this particular script area because this is kind of a little bit of a cheat to have text uh, be able to have you type it out in here. Um, so there's a double warning here, basically making sure that you want to delete it and just say yes. Uh, if you said no, it would keep everything in there. Uh, some of the other macros that we have over here, there's a return, a carriage return, a tab, and then other snippets of code like alert. You can do a multi-line comment. Uh, if you want the date, this will grab the current day time. Uh, we also have for loops. So you can throw that in. It creates the entire piece of code for that. There's a, an if else. Same thing. If you had, say you had a piece of code in here, if you had it selected and you did a for loop, a function, if else, or a try catch, uh, or even the while, if you click that, you'll see that the code then gets wrapped around the currently selected uh, text that you have in there. So that's a quick overview of this whole setup here. If you have code that's written out and say, we'll grab more options here. So the only options, we don't have any properties after this point because this is returning a value. So we have options for methods. We can say in here, we'll just say like, to string, just to show you an example here, I can either throw that up top into this box, or if I hit the right arrow, it'll throw it over here. And it'll toss it in where you have your cursor in here uh, previously before you go selecting over here. So if I had, say, to string selected, and I went over here and selected, we'll say value of, and I go here, you'll see that it didn't overwrite it, and that's because this edit box is only active when you're in it versus this one when you're in it. So it's negating what you have selected. So it automatically used where the cursor was at uh, in here previously. So if I have my cursor, say, at the beginning of the end right here, and I go in here and I select and I throw it in, you'll see that it inserts inside of those two characters. So just something to be aware of. Uh, I have the After Effects object model. Uh, this is in the PDF scripting guide, and it's just here as a quick reference so you can see the hierarchy of how 
everything is accessed with an extend script. And there's the help under here, which gives you a couple of starting objects that you can type in to the uh, entry box up here to kind of get you going. You'll see app is in there, the dollar sign, as well as file, folder, math, uh, a few others. This is not everything. This is just kind of a starting point uh, for you. Uh, up here are a variety of links to various points, uh, the scripting guides, uh, the developer center, which will give you access to the scripting guide, as well as a few other tools, uh, a few website links, as well as AE scripts and plugins, and uh, my own blog, AEIOU, and uh, just a reminder on the legal notice, and that's all of that. If you have code in here, so you've created a short little snippet of code that you want to keep and reuse later, you can hit the save button over here. And this will ask you to create a name, call it my script, and you'll say OK. And then you'll pick an area. We'll just pick the desktop for right now. And it'll tell you that it saved my script, and it automatically adds the JSX uh, extension to it. And it tells you where it saved it to the desktop. So if you have a file that's already existing, say I created a new file, and we're going to call it the same name. And if I happen to choose the same location, we'll say the desktop, you'll get a warning too that basically is saying that the file name already exists. So do you want to replace it? So you can either say yes to replace it, or you can say no and just give it a new name and try again. And um, that pretty much covers uh, ExtendScript Developer Utility.